numbers are numbers. Nevertheless, Ryan Flanoy, number 80, and Keelan Carsons, both of those boys gave us great, great tape during preseason as well as training camp. They were everywhere on the field. They did their jobs. And on top of that, you know, the growth, the sky's the limit for both of these guys. And I would say this too, uh, the way they're 21 now, you know, <laughs> Uh, he was able to shut down a few things out there in training camp, and he did a very great job out there in preseason. I, I would say that wearing the Rocket 21, it looks like it's built for him, made for him, and belongs to him. He just got to make sure that he carried the other end of it. Now, granted, uh, my guy Gilly last season, he rocked the number pretty good, you know, and to a degree when we look back at 21s, Normally, we look at it from the defensive perspective because the last person to really rock it was Zeke. But when we look at it, look at it, you can talk about Mike Jenkins, right? We can talk about the fact that he had, what, a year or so good with us and then everything kind of went to the wayside. But nevertheless, we can look back at this 21 on Carson's and say, hey, hey, bro, stand tall with it, man. He got the right mindset. He's a hard worker, and it seems as if, though, when he was out there on the field, he kind of moved like a veteran, right? And we will see if he can stand tall with it. Now, to number 80, Ryan. We've been talking about a lot of noise with Jalen Brooks, a lot of noise with Jalen Tolbert. But let's be real, naturally, naturally, this number 80 right here, dog, he stood tall in a lot of moments. And on top of that, he got great acceleration. He attacked the ball in his air. He made the necessary adjustments. He's a 4-4-40 four, four, guy. Uh, in the words of Chris Carter, fo 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 you know. Four, 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 four. Come on, man. Come Stop on. playing. So he's all of those things combined. And I think that down the stretch – we may continue to see him move up the chart. Let me say that again. We may continue to see him move up the chart, meaning that, you know, you have Brooks in front of him just a little bit, and then you have Tolbert just in front of him. But it could be this lineup right here. C.D. Lamb, hear me out, Brandon Cooks, and then Ryan Flo. <laughs> yeah, it could be just that. Now, I'm not leaving out Kevontae Turpin. I think that he's a dog or what he do for the team or what have you. And he would be your gadget. Oh, occasionally taking the top off the defense guy. But as far as consistent play, it's about to be that number 80. Because keep in mind, in training camp, he banged up his knee. And that's the reason why we got a chance to see Kevin Harmon and all of those other boys that they picked up. If he didn't bang his knee, <laughs> he would have been further even more along the way. So I can't wait to see how everything works his way out. Uh, shout out to Ryan Flo. He's going to be rocking number 80. Mm, that, that should be a good number for him. I, I really wanted him to uh, have one of those 18 or slash 19 numbers, but we, we, we know that those numbers are taken already. So let's go with the classic look, the 80s out there, man. So... In the chat, I want to know your favorite 21 of all time in the Cowboys uniform, right? Post that down below. And also, in the chat, let me know what other number you would love to see my guy Keelan Carson's wear, right? And on the flip side, in the chat, let me know of your favorite number 80 of all time that ever rocked with the silver and blue and the star on the side of the helmet. And also, what number you would have preferred him to wear. And I know numbers are numbers, but we, we always like to talk about these small little things before the season really kick off. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Go Cowboys. <laughs>